So here's something very interesting about plant defense mechanisms. So plants in general have a bit of a tough time defending themselves. Yes, they can have like tough bark, tough leaves, um, a bunch of like thorns and spines and pointy things that make you not really want to touch them. And they can have toxins, but there's always going to be something that can get past those defenses. Particularly, bugs have a like relatively easy time getting past a bunch of those defenses. Lots of them are immune to toxins. Lots of them are small enough that thorns won't deter them or they can get past the bark and stuff. So they eat plants and plants generally don't want to be eaten. So, an interesting thing that plants do is release a volatile chemical, or a variety of volatile chemicals, called cinnamones. Not cinnamon, that's a different thing. Cinnamones. So, cinnamones are a class of chemicals that are basically cl classified by having a benefit to both the organism that puts them off and the organism that receives these chemical signals. So, Let's say that we've got a plant, like one of these, one of my many, many plants. Say that this plant is out in the wild and it has an aphid infestation. Now, aphids are not good for plants, and the plant generally does not want to be eaten by the aphids, because the aphids essentially just suck the blood out of plants. They eat the sap, and the sap is basically plant blood. Plants are like, hey, this is not great for us, let's get rid of these guys, so they release some of these cinnamones. And what these cinnamones do, they attract predators of the aphids. So for example, they will release a specific cinnamon that ladybugs will follow, and they will follow that chemical trail to the plant and be like, hey, sweet, there's lots of food here. Let's eat all of these aphids. So the plant gets rid of the aphids, the ladybug gets a snack, and the only ones coming out on the bottom are the aphids, which is fine because fuck aphids. Now the really interesting thing about this is that the plants can change what cinnamones they release in regards to what is eating them. So say there's not aphids eating them, there's a bunch of caterpillars eating them, and the caterpillars are a little bit too big for ladybugs, um, so they need to attract a different thing. So, they can release different cinnamones in order to attract, for example, a parasitoid wasp. And so the parasitoid wasp will detect this chemical trail, follow it down, be like, hey, this is a great spot to lay my eggs. And so they lay the eggs inside those caterpillars that are eating the plants. The caterpillars act as a host for the um, parasitic wasp larva, and the plant gets rid of the caterpillars. So most of the studies were done on tobacco plants because tobacco plants are pretty easy to grow, pretty common, they, and they also have a lot of parasites that go on them. So it was found that these tobacco plants will release different chemical like trails and signals in order to get rid of whatever infestation they have on them. So this happens for a wide variety of insects that are eating the plants, be it caterpillars or aphids or beetles or moths or whatever. And so they can attract a bunch of different predators to clear up these bugs that are eating them. So this is very interesting. It shows that plants can have a way more active role in defending themselves than lots of people think.